Okay, a quick little addendum here. Just look at store, stored, recall, current. So far we've got 2 as the current and the stored is 2. We can double check it by hitting recall. It stays the same. If I change this, 3 is the one that is stored and I want to recall it, I just hit recall. Okay. In reverse, I go back to 2 and I recall. Go to 5, recall. 6, recall. Okay, now if I want to create a new sound, I can copy this one just by going to 7 and hitting store. It stores the current one, which is 6. So it stores a copy of 6. If I want to make sure they're both the same, I hit recall and now it, 7 and 7 reads that. Hit recall, 6 and 6. Since 7 is a copy, I can change this. Now, I can go ahead and name 7 something different. We'll take that, just make that an R. And I want to store 7, so I hit store. And just hit store to recall to just double check it. So now 6, recall. And 7, recall. Okay, hope that helps. Bye.